What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be talking about the Ontario NS4. So this one here is the Night Stalker 4. So you guys seen my previous videos. I do have that Night Stalker 9 and the Night Stalker 7, which these all correlate to the blade length. So obviously the 9, 9 inch, 7, 7 inch, and the 4. The 4 is a little different. That's funny. The 4 is not 4 inch. The 4 is a 5 inch. But <laughs> yeah, so anyways, um, awesome. I, I like the other two so much, and there are such a good deals for what you're getting. Uh, 5160 steel with that nice uh, uh, coating on it with the awesome G10 handle. I mean, I'm sorry, not G10, uh, canvas micarta handles. I had to pick up the smallest one to complete the set, the set because they're just, they're awesome. They're freaking awesome knives, you know? And they're all about a quarter inch thick, which I love. So let's get started. Let me, first, let's start with the sheath, get over with, get the sheath over with. I know it's not the main talking point, but a lot of people like to see the sheath and hear about the sheath. So this one is a, just like the other two bigger ones. It has this little clip here. So you can, you know, a little pouch, you can stuff whether fire steel or, you know, your, your, whatever you want to put in there, you know, a safety, a whistle or <laughs> uh, uh, fire starter or whatever you want to put in there, you know, extra, even a little smaller knife, a folding knife, if you want to. Um, it does have the attachments to, for to wrap around your leg, Molly compatible. Um, this thing, only, <laughs> it's funny. I, I don't know why Ontario did this and I find it pretty humorous is... <laughs> The two bigger ones, the two bigger knives that actually need it, they they put Velcro. They put one 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 Velcro strap here. That's and it's pretty flimsy I and mean, it's pretty loose. I highly recommend if you have it to just get a Kydex made for it. So they they put little one little Velcro strap, but on this little tiny small one, they put two <laughs> two strong ass hard locking buttons. Now, why they did that? The only thing I think of is maybe they want, maybe, you know, for the people that wear these inverted, you know, it's a little more sturdier and they're not, I guess you're not gonna wear a nine inch blade inverted or for, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of or for, for parachute, you know, for, for a para, paramilitary, you know, jumping out of planes, uh, it's more secure. It's not going to go in there. And this thing's, it's in there. It's not, with those two buttons, it's not going in there. But uh, I would rather pay an extra four or five bucks and have it with the two bigger ones. I mean, if we're not gonna jump out, I'd rather have something that's really secure in, on my, my hip than not gonna be unvalkering, unvalkering, or if you get mud or shit in there, it's gonna keep coming undone. I, I don't know, to me, it's funny. I think they should have did all of them, even if they don't wanna use the bottom one, just the top one should have been a button for the the NS7 and the NS8. I mean, uh, nine, NS9, but is what it is, it is what it is. So, <laughs> and you can tell these are adjustable too. Adjustable, you can make them loosen them up or make them tighter. Um, I, I like the sheath. I mean, even though, you know, it's one of those, you know, cheaper nylon sheaths, but for the price, for what you're getting, I like it. So just like the bigger two, it does come with this uh, aggressive uh, pummel with the fat open lanyard here. Um, I do like that jimping here for skull busting, for coconut opening. It does have jimping right here for, you know, for, it's not too aggressive. It's a little bit aggressive, but it's not too bad. It doesn't feel like it's gonna tear up the hand too much. Uh, not too bad there as the marking branding there, NS4DG. And on this side, of course, the branding, Ontario Knife USA. These are USA made knives. These are discontinued, unfortunately, but you can't find them on eBay. Uh, and for pretty good deals right now, I mean, I think there's a few on there right now for like 40, 50 bucks, if you can luck out and get in a bid without getting too much uh, stuff put on it. But yeah, it's uh, too much people bidding on them, but uh, not bad. How's the branding there, their logo there. I think this one does say Ranger Series. Yeah, OKC Ranger Series. Um, you can, this one here doesn't have canvas micarta. This one has like a wooden style handle. They're still pretty nice. They're still pretty good. They're fit and finished. You know, people also will say even other content creators, it's a little off, right? It's not super smooth. It's not like flush with everything. Um, it's a little bit, I mean, it, it's not bad. It's not bad, but you can see there, it's a little bit of a lip there, a little bit. You can kind of see the metal and the, the handle start. It's not too bad. Another complaint that I hear a lot is this big fat pummel here. For me, it's not too bad. I mean, it fits my hand pretty damn good. I could wrap it all the way around. And it's fat, yeah, would I prefer it like this? No, I prefer to have this just be flat here. And then this is fine, this curve here is fine, and this curve here is fine. But this, I prefer flat. I prefer it to go across here and just go flat, you know? People grind it down to make it fit their hand better. You could do that with the price of these, it's not too bad. And I love that recurve, look at that recurve. And this thing was freaking razor freaking sharp. Uh, again, like I said, 5160 carbon steel. Um, just a beefy freaking badass little knife, man. I mean, in my opinion, for the money, this competes with like a, um, what's that, Crewman, the uh, Ontario Crewman blade, uh, something like that. Uh, or Ontario, I'm sorry, uh, 
K-Bar, K-Bar Crewman. Uh, this is a little bit bigger than that, but it's still, it's, you know, same concept. And look how thick this thing is. Still a quarter inch thick. Pretty beefy all the way down, close to the tip. And pointy ass tip. I love that little recurve. Recurves are great for slicing in deep. You know, you go across, it just keeps pulling and just slicing even deeper with this portion here. Um, to me, it feels good in the hand. It's not too bad, not too bad in the hand. Awesome little knife, awesome, awesome little knife. Um, no complaints, no complaints. And for the money, you can't beat this. If you can find one, and even back when you could pick them up, you know, like I said, 50, 60 bucks for some hardcore, hard using, workable knife, you know, bushcraft knife that you can do pretty much anything with this thing. Um, as you know me, I'm not a fan of this coating. I don't like coatings too much on knives, but it's not a deal breaker, obviously, you know, and if you don't like it that much, strip it and make this all, I've seen people do that and make it all chromed out, but um, I'm gonna keep it the way it is like this. And the edge is perfect. This is not, uh, obviously not used, perfect condition. I did bring out the NS7 just so you can see there's a comparison, the size difference. So here you see the seven inch blade, this is the five inch blade. Um, nice, nice little, nice little companion knife here. Um, this bit, this one here is awesome too. This, I told you, like I said before in my last video, I prefer this, uh, the, N, uh, the NS7 over the NS9 because it's freaking quarter inch all the way up to the tip, pretty much. I mean, of course it narrows out here, but I'm just saying the NS9 is more of a machete build, more than a knife. It goes super skinny right here. This is thicker and almost, this almost weighs more than the other one. It feels like, so I mean, for hacking and for chopping, this is going to be a better chopper than the nine. It's going to take out more material, but, uh. But again, yeah, so just, just a, I just brought this out for size comparison to show you and to show you the similarities. Um, I prefer the handles on these better too, the two bigger ones. It's more textury, more grippy than this one, the wooden ones, but the wooden ones aren't bad. They're not bad. Um, you know, I can't complain too much for that. Yeah, so um, highly, highly recommend any of these series here if you can pick them up and get a good deal on them. Obviously, these bigger ones are going to be a little more expensive. These are going to run you closer to 100. This one was more like 55, 60 and uh badass little knife for the money man highly recommend it all right please like subscribe share and until next knife gun or whatever